When I think about the type of teacher I want to be, I have always looked to the parable of the Good Shepherd as inspiration, making sure no child is left behind and caring for each and every one of my students. Recently, I had the chance to experience what it is like to be a teacher on my professional placement. Through my observations, I came to the conclusion that there is more to being a teacher than I first imagined, and the policies teachers practice play an integral role in what our teacher identity should be. One of the policies I observed in practice was the inclusive education policy. The inclusive education policy talks about the importance of all students being able to access and fully participate in learning. The teachers I observed did a good job of this in their classrooms, making sure all their students' needs were accounted for. In addition to this, the school had ramps at every staircase catered classrooms for their students in wheelchairs. In the Australian Professional Standards for Teachers, the Standard 1.6 states that teachers must have strategies to support the full participation of students with disabilities, and the Inclusive Education Policy makes sure that teachers follow that standard. The Inclusive Education Policy fits in well with my identity of being a good shepherd, as it involves caring for each of my students, no matter who they are. Another policy I saw teachers using was the Advancing Partnerships Policy which focuses primarily on bringing the parents of the students into their learning, which aligns perfectly with the APST Standard 3.7, Engage Parents and Carers in the Educative Process. I was lucky enough to see a parent-teacher interview while I was on PRAC, which allowed me to see how the teachers connected with the parents and included them into the children's learnings. The Advancing Partnerships Policy will definitely influence how I teach in the future, making sure I am always keeping parents included in what their children have been learning in my class and keeping them involved so the learning continue, can continue in their home life. The Valuing Performance Policy, another policy I observed on PRAC, emphasises the importance of building a supportive workplace culture. While on my professional placement, I sat in on five staff meetings in two weeks, which was eye-opening and beneficial for me. Seeing how the old staff members were able to help teachers who had only been in the profession for a year or two was reassuring for when I will too be a new teacher. APST Standard 6.3 implores teachers to engage with colleagues and improve their practice, which is what the Valuing Performance Policy also suggests as one of the best ways for teachers to better their practice. The Valuing Performance Policy and the Advancing Partnerships Policy makes me realize that the parabolic Good Shepherd teaching method needs more added on top, as I'm not just caring for my flock of students, but also I need to care for the other shepherds as well. In my next three years before I finish my course, I have a lot of learning to do in regards to each of the policies. In regards to the inclusive education policy, I need to learn more about disabilities that the students of mine may have and how I can best adjust my practices to suit their needs. I need to get better at my communication with parents, something I can start to practice in my before and after school care job, in order to better align with the advancing partnerships policy. I also need to build connections with peers and teachers I will be working with in the future, opening myself to suggestions that they make that I can better my practice with. All in all, I really benefited from my professional placement and strongly believe that in the future, I will be a better teacher from what I observed.